So there's been a lot of information pouring out about Thailand's reopening to travellers from the start of July. And we should warn people that there is a lot of misinformation about the July 1 reopening on the internet, but we'll ensure all our information is 100% correct at the time of publishing. We also understand that a lot of the information is incomplete and merely prompts even more questions. The situation is fluid and we'll be working hard to provide all the latest updates about getting back to Thailand over the next few months. Now the intention is to obviously encourage travellers who can and want to return to Thailand and easier access to the country from July the 1st there will also be plenty of people that don't necessarily want to travel to Phuket, but will use the sandbox plan to enter Thailand without quarantine and then travel to their preferred location or even their home after the first seven days when they're required to stay on the island. Hopefully, apart from encouraging people to travel back to the island of Phuket, the sandbox will be able to reunite people with their loved ones around the country. A successful implementation of the program will also benefit all the other tourist locations around the country which will follow in the steps of the Phuket Sandbox. So there's a lot riding on the successful implementation of this plan. Now before I go on through all the latest details we know about the reopening, we know there'll be lots of specific questions based around your personal circumstances. We're not in the position of being able to provide individual answers for each person, but we hope this general information will at least give you a head start. The big headline about the Phuket Sandbox Plan is that for approved travellers, there will be no quarantine required on arrival. Obviously, this is a game changer. Let's talk about who can come. The Thai government says that if you're coming from a low to medium risk country and if you've been fully vaccinated with documentation to prove it, you'll be allowed to travel to Phuket after July the 1st. If you're a family, you'll be able to bring your kids. For children under the age of 17, they won't have to have been vaccinated, but they'll have to undergo a rapid antigen test at the airport. If they're under five years old, they won't have to have a test as long as they're with their family. For your vaccinations, you'll need to have been vaccinated at least 14 days before departure, but not over one year. A rapid antigen or PCR test will also be needed to have been conducted within 72 hours before your flight to Thailand. You'll have to show an itinerary for your visit when you arrive, upload and activate the Thailand Plus app so the government can track your movements if they need to contact you during your stay. You'll have another test five days after your arrival at your costs, and after this you'll be able to travel to some of the areas immediately adjacent to Phuket, like Bang Na Bay, the islands around Phuket, and Koh Phi Phi. And then, after seven days in Phuket, you'll be able to leave the island and travel anywhere you like in Thailand. If you stay for less than seven days, you'll have to depart from Phuket Airport. If you stay longer than seven days, you'll be able to fly out of Bangkok back to your country as an option. All booked facilities on the island, hotels, tour companies, transport, will need to be certified through the Tourism Authority of Thailand and the Safety and Health Administration guidelines. This certification will indicate that the employees have been vaccinated. Thai Airways have added direct flights to Phuket from some European cities and may add some other flights from Asian destinations, but you'd be well advised to contact the Thai Embassy in your country before making any bookings to ensure that citizens in your country are able to travel to Thailand as part of the Phuket Sandbox Plan. You should also check to find out about returning to your country and any requirements or restrictions on that leg of your journey. Now people should be aware as they come back to Thailand that things won't be the same as they were in the past, of course. For Phuket, certainly the beaches have never looked better. There's still plenty of shopping and things to do around the island, but the nightlife won't be quite as vibrant and the huge selection of restaurants won't be quite as long as before. 
The same situation will be the same in most other tourist destinations around Thailand as the wheels of tourism slowly ramp up to meet demand. But this will be the situation anywhere in the world. The Tiger will continue to provide all the latest information about this important first step in Thailand's reopening plans for general tourism as the information becomes available.